Hi everyone. Today for my video, I'll be having my co-partner Jordan, a beautiful Siberian husky, and he'll help me to teach you people out what to do when there's dog nail bleeding at your home, which I know you must have encountered at some point of time in your life. So, how many toes does your dog have? As low as 16 and as many as 24. And with so many toes, with some running and jumping and digging, it is not surprising that at any point of time you see a nail bleed. So when do you see a nail bleed? When you trim too short, or when there are torn or cracked nails. Many a times there are ingrown nails also. That is when a nail just hooks back into the skin back, and it causes the their infection of the nearby skin. Then there are infected nails also. Certain dogs who have a tendency to keep licking their paws and nails, thereby they can cause the infection in the nail or the nail bed. From where you will see foul, smelly pus discharge also coming out. There are certain autoimmune diseases also, like pemphigus, whereby nail itself is very weak and it crack opens and it bleeds. So now the important part of the video that what to do when you see a nail bleed. First of all, which is very important is that you should remain calm. It is very necessary for you and for your pet too. Calming yourself down and. making your pet also soothe out that will help that he doesn't move much and eventually the blood spill will also be less second what you have to do is recruit a help because at that time it will be very difficult for you to manage that thing by yourself so you require one or the other person who can hold the dog for you and you can do the uh, antiseptic dressing part by yourself then what you have to do Once you have start, we have once you have finished, keep applying the pressure on the bone. Then you have to gently remove the piece of the cloth, and then you have to apply some styptic powders. Styptic powders are anti bleeding powders which are easily available on any wet shop or pet shop. But if by any chance you are not able to get to anybody, then for uh, As a home uh, remedy, you can use cornstarch or baking flour for the same thing. So, if bleeding stops, then it is a very good thing. Then you have to apply some betadine on the affected nail, and you have to bandage it. But remember, the bandage shouldn't be for too long. But if the bleeding doesn't stop within few minutes, then you have to rush to a vet. Then what you have to take care is that for next 12 to 24 hours you have to reduce the activity of your pet because if he moves a lot then his BP will increase and then it is a tendency that the blood clot that gets disrupted and the bleeding starts again. So when to see a vet or me? Naturally when the bleeding doesn't stops, when your pet is constantly licking that particular area, or when there when you see any sort of pus discharge from the affected nail or when he yelps while you touch his leg so the lastly comes it how can you prevent such occurrences naturally by regular nail treatments hereby we follow a practice to which we do ear cleaning nail trimming and gland cleaning every 3 months so that you should follow then eventually all these occurrences will be very low so agar aapko jordan aur meri ye video pasand aayi please hame comment kijiyega next topic jis pe aap mere se kuch sunna chahe uske bare mein bhi please comment kijiyega subscribe kijiyega aur hamare instagram ko follow kijiyega thank you